A brief recap of some top local headlines this morning, starting with a boil water notice issued by Yurok Public Water Systems effective immediately. The tribe issued the notice yesterday. They're asking people to boil and conserve water until further notice. But the reason is unclear at this hour, and there's no word on when it could be lifted. The five Marines who went missing on a helicopter flight from Nevada to California have been confirmed deceased. That's according to a release from the 3rd Marine Aircraft Wing that says efforts are underway to recover their remains. Following a helicopter crash in a remote area of Southern California during a training flight Tuesday night, their identities will not be released until all family is notified. Tragic news on the North Coast. Beloved firefighter Anthony Benalicia, who served the Arcata Fire District, has passed away of cancer. A GoFundMe has been created for Anthony's widow and young daughter. Donations will go toward his memorial service and making sure the needs of his family are met. Just search in memory of Anthony Benalicia on GoFundMe. In Humboldt County, presiding Judge Gregory Elvine Kreis under investigation by the Commission on Judicial Performance for alleged misconduct. According to the accusations listed in court documents, Kreis faces allegations of using anti-Semitic slurs, sexually inappropriate behavior, drug and alcohol use, in addition to other accusations, including threatening attorneys looking to disqualify him and violating due process. According to the Commission on Judicial Performance, the judge is asked to respond to the notice of formal proceedings by February 22nd. The historic bell at First United Methodist Church in Red Bluff was stolen. The chairman of the Board of Trustees told us a congregation member noticed the bell was askew before it disappeared. Several local businesses have come together and are offering a $3,000 reward for the return of the bell. No questions asked. The Department of Water Resources says Oroville Dam has stopped releasing water. Water from the lake still being released from the Hyatt Power Plant, though, and although the agency says they aren't planning to release any more until possibly next winter. And that's it for your top headlines. Preston, what do you got for us in the day planner? Well, Nazi, after that fog this morning, things will look nice out there. They're already not so bad out at the coast. We'll call it partly to mostly cloudy, but we're going to enjoy those temperatures in the low 50s with the sunshine rather than the rain we saw yesterday. So that's the good news in the valley. Low to mid 50s shaping up there. Mostly sunny will be the story into the afternoon, even though we're feeling very foggy for your February morning or foggy Friday junior. If you want a little alliteration here uh, as we roll through the day today, things will be clear out there later on in the day and looking at our watches and mornings. The real one thing we're watching is Again, that coastal flood advisory from 8 to noon with high tide coming around 10 uh, o'clock this morning out at the coast. So around Humboldt Bay, we're watching for low lying flooding in those lowest lying areas. And then, of course, the fog is the big story this uh, this morning. Visibility down to a quarter mile in places like Red Bluff and Oroville at the Reading Airport a half a mile now. But we're seeing places around downtown Reading still very socked in a couple hundred feet. So just be very careful out there. And again, with those temperatures near freezing that we're seeing right now, freezing fog is a concern and it should make for a slick commute. So just slow things down. Give yourself enough time to thaw off that windshield before you get out the door this morning. Yeah, that is a good advice. It was so scary driving to work this morning, driving to work overnight, man. We come to work in the middle of the night when the weather isn't the best, but thankfully we have you. I'm glad to be here doing to it. To <laughs> keep us in the know and we're going to give our friends at home some love like we do. Show them pictures sent to us on Chime In. All right, Christina Bennett sent in these pictures of her dog Cocoa playing her morning fetch in the snow. Oh, looks like she's having a great time. I love it. I don't think my little juice box would have any fun in the snow, uh, but they could hang out together yeah. on the inside. <laughs> Thank you so much, Christina, for sending that in. I love it. Hey, by the way, whether you got breaking news, severe weather, just a cute picture of your pup, your pet, your cat, your kid, your partner, your friend, yeah, whoever, give it to us. You know, people always ask like, hey, can you give me a shout out for my birthday? Can you shout me out on the news? This is your chance. If you want to shout out somebody you know, please do send it to us on Chime In. You can upload pictures and video with a little info. Make sure to mention it's for daybreak. And really quick before we head out, take a look at this, Preston. What? Ooh. Gloomy. The eagle is in the nest. The fog is just yeah. taken over. One of them just flew off. Okay. But Liberty and Guardian, friends of the Reading Eagles cam, we are watching. And how about the eyeballs? Kind of a little creepy, A huh? little spooky, especially with the fog and there's no leaves on the trees. This is like a horror movie, but there's no horror with Liberty and Guardian. They're just outright cool. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And watching the, and watching the nest. Thank you so much. We hope that everybody, including the Eagles, make it a great day. They've got a choice. <laughs>